texts. And I remember you messaged me this hack and it's why we wanted to make this video because you text messaged me like, hey, do you need new sheets? Here's a promo code. And I was like, actually, I do need new sheets. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brittany Castro, certified financial planner and content creator. I like to talk about all things money, business, and marketing. Hi, I'm Emily Bender. I'm the founder of Wealth Voice, and I am an investor for fun. I like talking about personal finance as well. And Brittany and I are here to talk about the best spending hack that we have found lately. So the reason we wanted to make this video is I was actually sharing with Brittany, I found these Cozy Earth sheets. They're Oprah's number one rated sheet. They're absolute heaven and they're very expensive. It's like about 500 bucks for king size. And then I saw someone on Instagram post a 40% off promo code. And I'm like, it's time to get these. I'm leveling up from Brooklyn and I'm ready. And then I was also looking on the Chase portal because I have all the Chase Trifecta cards. You can watch one of my other videos about the Chase Trifecta if you're curious. So you optimize getting these Chase UR points because they're the universal travel point. I got 10% off because I bought it on the Chase Freedom, which had a Cozy Earth promo that month. So instead of paying $467, I paid $280 and then an additional $28 back. Thank you, Chase. Dang girl. See, that's why I like you because you know these like really specific hacks. And I remember you messaged me this hack and it's why we wanted to make this video because you text messaged me like, hey, do you need new sheets? Here's a promo code. And I was like, actually, I do need new sheets. Um, so it was really cool. Um, and then guess what? I actually shared it with two friends. I don't think I told you that. I shared the hack with uh, some of my other girlfriends who were like, oh, this is wonderful. So I think it's yeah. just how we roll. Um, my recent hack is okay so i was noticing that i was like over ordering on amazon not on purpose but i think like with the pandemic you know i just kind of got like used to oh i need something put an order in instead of like filling up my cart and then like reviewing the cart and then putting it a once a week or once a month order so recently this month i decided okay just fill the cart so like for a week and a half i was just like adding things looking around my house what do i need to restock because you know, a lot of my household products I get on Amazon and I let it sit. So instead of just hitting order, 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 I said, okay, let me just like take a, a beat, take a week, fill this cart and then place the order. So I recently did that for this month and it felt so good. One, because I felt like I was actually kind of like being more proactive than ever before about what do I really need for my household. And then um, I eliminated a few things. I was like, well, I don't really need that right now. Like I had a few books in there and I was like, well, I don't need to get three books right now. I'm just get one. Or I had something, um, what was it? Oh, I think it was just like a comforter, but then I ended up taking that out. So there was just a few things that were unnecessary. There were more of those impulse buys that I reviewed and removed. And then also I just felt so good about it, like environmentally, because I was like, well, you know, the less packaging that is coming to my house, the better, because with Amazon, if you order and um, place orders, they try to put as much as possible in one order, right? One box. So that felt good. And that was my hack. And I'm going to do it again next month. So I already started adding things to my cart for next month, like July, and I'll just wait until it's full and then place the order come July, like first or something. That's such a good hack. And you're going to end up with the things that you really want or need. We were looking up stats before we recorded and yeah. we saw that 20% of Amazon Prime members said they shopped on Amazon a few times a week. 7% said they did so almost daily. So it becomes easy to just consume and willy nilly. Um, yeah, the environmental impact is a thing. So I love this one. I'm going to try it this month, in fact. Yeah, and actually one of my friends is doing it too because she was getting a little crazy with her Amazon orders. And she she told me, she's like, I'm doing emotional spending right now on Amazon, but like literally she was ordering clothes and then like stuff for her apartment. And she was like, and I was all like, yeah, go supporting. And then she goes, no, no, Brittany, I actually need you to tell me like no more Amazon orders for like two weeks. And I was like, oh, okay. Because it was getting out of hand. So I just think like with nowadays, we all can just like click away so easily. But like, what are we actually buying and is it to fill some emotional need or is it actual things that we want and, and need so I think it's just always good to have kind of like these mindful check-ins with our spending I love that great hack yes
fun, fun, fun. And the, you know, the cool part about like hacks, I find like women, I don't know if you feel this, but like women in my circle, I swear to God, know all the hacks with like spending. Um, I have one friend too. She's like all into the beauty and wellness. And she always sends me these like cool um, products to buy, but she researches it. So I appreciate her. She's like you, she'll do all the research for me. And then she'll find like the cheaper alternative to the thing that was being promoted, but it's still the good product. And then she even will do a lot of times, like I'll buy it and I'll test it and make sure it's good. And then if it is good, I'll refer it to you. So I just like appreciate that. So I think like that's like some something we we tend to do with our friends. We do. And it's it's I think we're evolutionary and evolutionarily wired for it as women because it's a hunter gatherer instinct. So you do get a dopamine hit from shopping and finding deals and finding like that one blouse on the rack. But now it's translated to online, like finding all the goodies. And we're just looking for the dopamine hit a lot of the time. Yes. Yeah, I think so. Right. Like, oh, this new beauty product's going to remove all my wrinkles. I want it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> um, and this video is not sponsored. Any brands we've mentioned, we just whatever. But one, I told you this when we were at Jolt, uh, Ipsy, the makeup delivery monthly service. So you oh, pay yeah. once a year. It w works out to like 12 bucks a month, but you get five samples based on a quiz with your color palette and your hair, your age. And if you don't like it, no big deal. It was like a few bucks but if you love it then you're like i just found this product that's great like mascara that i'm always gonna buy from now on so that's another one i love i love that yeah i think it's so wonderful to like leverage each other's um you know whatever like zone of genius is you know I have a yeah crowdsource crowdsource yeah i think it's great. okay so cozy earth hack check the chase portal if you're buying th there might be a 10 percent additional discount on things and hygiene your amazon cart Try for once a month, bulk orders, fewer once boxes. Yeah. Love it. And I would be curious to know like what everybody's spending hack is, what they've done recently, because I think those, um, you know, we all have our own unique version of it. So if you want to just like comment below or tell us, that would be cool too. <laughs> yep. Okay. Well, we'll be back with some more personal finance tips and make sure you subscribe to this channel, my channel and Brittany's channel on YouTube. Um, Follow Brittany Castro on TikTok and Instagram as well. Her content is fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye.